One of the first books I read about eating disorders was Maria Hornbaker's memoir of anorexia and bulimia, Wasted. When I read her words, I instantly felt connected. Maybe just maybe I wasn't the only person who struggled with food. Maria has a nine-year battle with anorexia and bulimia. In the story, Maria details childhood and personality factors that may have had a role in the development of her disorder. She also writes about her progression of her bulimia and her transition to anorexia. She manages to lose weight to a point that she is lighter than when she first enters the hospital for treatment. Throughout her book, Maria contends that eating disorders are not as simple as some people would like to think. Maria intends her book to be a warning to other girls not to follow the path she took. Maria, who moves from her home in California to Minnesota, lives with Judy and Jay Hornbaker, her mother and father. She develops a variety of strange neuroses, including bulimia. She slowly allowed the voices in her head to control her actions. From eating to spending 15 minutes over the toilet with fingers down her throat, she allowed the demons to tell her she stands out in dance class because of her size. I too, like many others, have voices inside my head. At one point, the monsters under your bed take a seat inside your head. Sometimes they tell me I'm stupid, sometimes annoying, sometimes ugly and fat. They allow me to overanalyze every situation, and then I pick up the bad in everything, causing me to have self-hate. Maria lived in denial for a very long time. She would avoid friends and family and refuse to go get help for her neurosis. Fearing to get help with anything will only cause a bigger problem. Maria continuously purged and starved herself, becoming addicted to unneeded things for distraction. It got to such a bad point that she was at her lowest weight at 52 pounds. She was afraid of changing her life from what she lived with for so long. She dug herself deeper and deeper into her illness, which then made it hard and difficult to recover. One time I sprained my ankle at practice knowing I was hurt. I refused to tell anyone and continued practicing. Not only did I make the injury worse, but I was not practicing for almost double than the original injury. Because of those crazy thoughts in Maria's head, it let, all led to addiction. Addiction is only as bad as you allow it to be. Not only was Maria addicted to thinking about food because she refused to eat, but as a distraction she became addicted to sex, drugs, and death. All these things began to run her life and run through her mind 24-7. We all have addictions, some more than others, but my main addictions are working out. I wake up in the morning to go for a run or do some cardio. It's always on my mind after I eat, when I wake up, after work, before and after school, before bed, unintentionally, the thought is always there. Throughout the book, Mariah analyzes her eating disorder. She realizes that she's always had weird eating habits, but was not born an anoretic. It is our past and experiences we have been through that shape who we are today. Mariah realizes that she was not born with anorexia, but she developed it from everything around her. From watching her dad eat small meals and go on diets, to watching mom run the treadmill and skip dinner. She points out the little things that proved her disorder wasn't there, but she had become that way from her experience and past. Everyone can say that without events that took place in the past shaped who they are today.